Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are checking out the War Machine 2.0 from Age of Ultron. But before we do that, let's look at how to actually get this. This is actually a lottery exclusive in Hong Kong, which means you have to queue up outside Secret Base. And then you go inside and queue up inside Secret Base. Then after about the hour or so of queuing, you get towards the front of the queue to be able to pre-order this if you were lucky enough to be selected at random to get a pre-order. I was one of those very fortunate people. In Hong Kong, this was only allowed 600 people who could be chosen at random. I was very fortunate and the queuing time I was very happy with, only an hour. I was told by a couple of staff over at Hot Toys the day before they were queuing down to the 17th floor, which is sort of three flights down, about two, two and a half hours, because I've done that type of queue before at Secret Base. When I do pick this up, which will be around May, June time when it's released in Hong Kong, I will be doing a comparison video. A lot of collectors have asked me, how does this look in person compared to the Iron Man 3 War Machine 2.0? Yes, the paint app is the major difference between them. It, this is a much um, matte grey, metallic grey type look. Similar to the Secret Project Mark IV, similar to the Mark III gunmetal. So it's definitely different to the Iron Man 3 War Machine 2.0. Also, you have the decals that are different on the shoulder. It's actually the same decals as the original War Machine from Iron Man 2. The red surround on the arc reactor and the red around the eyes are not there. So you do have some minor differences here. However, the main thing is the paint app because I feel firstly it's a different and better improved more metallic paint app. Also you get the roadie head sculpt which you didn't get on the previous War Machine 2.0 from Iron Man 3 version. You still get the salute, the repulsor hands, the articulated hands, the forearm rocket cannon as well. You get more battle damage, little nicks. Um, also, you get a little bit of scuffs and marks on this armor, much more than on the previous Iron Man 3 version. I would say if you're going to pick up a war machine, a modern war machine, this is a, probably the best one to pick up if you can get hold of it. I'm sure it's easier to get hold of on Sideshow or online than in Hong Kong, which you have to go through resellers, etc. Because it may not be an exclusive over there. I'm looking forward to playing about with this because I think it will be a bit of an upgrade. It's not going to be for everyone. This armor is die cast. So for those die cast Iron Man fans, it's probably something which they'll like to add to their collection. Just like the Hot Rod, Mark 42, Mark 43, etc. I'm looking forward to picking this up and doing the review because I would like to see the comparison between the War Machines as they've developed and how this looks different, more vibrant than the previous version. But anyway, just want to say thanks very much for you guys for watching. Hope you guys understand also how lottery exclusives work in a little bit more detail than if you haven't experienced or heard about them before. So thanks you guys for watching and see you all at the next video.